Okay, uh, I believe you guys should be able to hear me now. I figured out the issue of what was going on there. It was, uh, uh, be, be, because, uh, for some reason my, um, my track, I really need to figure out what the heck is going on with my track, uh, video. I don't know why it does that. For some reason my- Yep, that should work, so you guys should be able to hear me. Uh, anyway, uh, exactly what I said a little bit ago, uh, we are, uh, everyone that is joining right now, welcome to the live stream. Uh, this was, a, a post-squad live stream. I know you, uh, wasn't getting as many people that are watching right now, uh, in that squad live stream, so I guess, uh, squad isn't that popular among my, among my base, so I guess. Uh, hey, Mr. President Perot, what's going on, Enigmars? Uh, welcome to the live stream. Damien, thank you so much for, uh, uh, for uh, the for that donation. I do appreciate that if anyone wants to donate to the re-election campaign of Sean Irwin definitely leave a super chat uh, Just uh, uh, For Sean Irwin. I will use it uh, Directly for the re-election campaign for Sean Irwin. So definitely do leave a super chat if you guys are able to uh, We do have President Montgomery Hubbard is the new president of the United States. I believe he uh, she is a Democrat. Yes, uh, so she, no, she's a U.S. representative from Missouri, but the Speaker of the House is a Democrat. Uh, what about the Senate? What is the, uh, control of the Senate? The Senate is a, uh, is under Democratic control. Uh, let's look. So... Democrats have control in the House, 247 seats in House Representatives, 188 seats for the Republican Party in the in the uh, House of Representatives. Whenever we go over to the Senate, let's look. Um, looks like there were flips in Alaska. Yeah, this was directly after uh, my election campaign. So Mich Michigan, uh, Maine, West Virginia, uh, North Carolina, and Alaska have all flipped to the uh, Democratic Party, but we should be seeing these ones flip by the next election uh, that they have. So hopefully that is what uh, what we will see. So are you in the House of Representatives? No, I'm going to go be going for the Senate um, as of right now. Emilio is in 2032. We are in, in a new election year, so let's see if I can go. Um, I can go for governor. I can go for governor of Texas, but I think I... I would have to wait another two years if I wanted to go for a Senate run, um, but I do have the opportunity. I, if, if I go for U.S. House, House representatives, then I could, uh, I would automatically become the Speaker of the House. I have enough political power in order to do so. Um, so I, I mean, I could go for governor. I, I would have the the political power. Um, let's look. Party chair for the National Campaign Committee. Uh, the party chair is responsible for supporting party candidates in our electoral campaigns. And then we do this for who are likely to win, set up a party platform, adjust the campaign platform, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, run for Senate, run for Senate, run for Senate. All right, I'm, I guess I'm going to go ahead and go forward about a two years okay let's see what the election results for that was okay so 2036 I think we're running up on the next election year so federal the Senate is now split <laughs> look at that uh, we actually have a Republican senator from the state of Connecticut um, we also have Republican and Democratic senators from the states of Wisconsin uh, it's split in a lot of different states, which makes it uh, where it's at right now. Uh, House, what are we doing over here? Republicans have taken back control of the House, so that is awesome to see. Let's go over. <clears throat> Everyone will be deployed to NAM. <laughs> uh, there is the presidency again. I could go for it one more time, but I don't think I will do that. All right, let's do that. And then we have... U.S. Senator, so let's go ahead and throw our hat in the ring for that. Let's go ahead and make a campaign campaign platform. Increase uh, GDP per, per capita. Uh, let's uh, promise to lower income taxes. And then let's say that we want to fight poverty. Have $163 million in the bank. That is awesome. 
Uh, and then let's max out our staff. Win re-election or it's fraud. <laughs> Thank you so much, Enigmars, for that uh, donation to Sean Irwin's re-election campaign. Um, let's go Biden. I don't think I'm playing as Biden right now, my guy. Okay, we're getting a million dollars. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We have an incumbent, so it looks like that we are primarying uh, one of our own, but I believe that uh, should, shouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we primary our own guy, because, you know, this is Sean Irwin running for this position. He just needs to step aside. Uh, Kaufman County, Taylor County... Taylor County, that's a... Uh, know exactly where that is. Orange County. Uh, local print. Do that. Tyler Gould, I've actually never seen you here, so definitely welcome to the live stream. I have a... I have not seen you around here. I don't know if you're new or not, uh, but if you guys are new uh, to this channel, definitely do leave a subscription if you guys like the content that I make. I will be making more of this. Uh, I've, I've returned to Power and Revolution content, and I need to be. I need to figure out a balance of. Uh, I need to figure out a balance of uh, uh, between and not really because the only thing about power, uh, not really. Power and Revolution, but uh, the political process, the thing about the political process is, is that, it, I mean, it's, it needs work. It needs a lot of work. And I mean, if, if I want to do content for, for the political process, I definitely think that, uh, uh, that the guy who is making this needs to add more laws. He needs to add more uh, options because it's sometimes it's not that fun. And I want to do more political process. I know you got, I know a lot of you guys uh, like the political process um, but it's like it, it needs work it needs a lot of work um, so let's go to poverty social security let's give that about 12 million dollars getting a lot of support from the uh, bases of both among uh, Republicans and Democrats let's look uh, it looks like we are uh, set to win this primary against the incumbent US senator uh, for the state of Texas so that is awesome let's Go to poverty one more time and um, do minimum wage. Ten million dollars there. Our Republicans seem to be changing their opinions on the minimum wage. So that is great to see. Let's go ahead and open a good amount. Let's go ahead and open about 50 field offices. Let's do phone banking. Let's see here. And then let's see, go over to poll data, do full. And it looks like we are in the lead still. Let's do one more a batch of, uh, of rallies. And then let's go over to marketing. Uh, economic growth, I think we can uh, hit the mark on economic growth. That should, actually it should help us out. Let's go ahead and do $15 million into economic growth to get that Republican base. Uh, on our side and then let's do another 10 million dollars into the minimum wage and our staff is maxed out all right let's go to the next day see who wins this primary uh so lots of lots and lots of people seem to be voting well three million votes uh and we win our primary awesome we win against the incumbent uh u.s senator we oust the incumbent u.s senator uh, by 200,000 votes. That is awesome to see. The return of Sean Irwin uh, will not be forgotten. He he ran for president. And now he is back. So obviously he's going to win his primaries. And that leaves us. The hard part is over. The party demographics are in your favor. And as long as you do not an anger your base, uh, then we should be able to win. So our goal is going to be to win several certain counties, including uh, the outskirts of... Uh, uh, it's about not Williamson, but Travis, Dallas, and Harris County, and as well as Bear County as well. If we can win uh, in those areas, I think we will be able to win by at least sixty percent. I think the goal for this uh, for this election right here is to win by at least by at least sixty percent. So what we need to do, we need to go over to economic growth. Let's go ahead and throw some money into that, and then go over a couple of weeks. Just do 
these right here. $120 million in the bank as of right now. The buffering is so painful. Is there an issue with the buffering as of right now? Okay, let me let me close out a couple of applications real quick. This is the first time I made it to a political process stream that actually happened. I'll be getting the political process for Christmas. Do you have any advice uh, for new players? Do um, try try to play the game on easy and then see how you fare off with the easy mode. Um, if you're playing as a Democrat, you essentially just need to hit the marks like minimum wage, uh, social security, uh, things like that. And if you're a Democrat, it's going to be a lot easier for you in places like Pennsylvania, Michigan, and even Wisconsin. Um, any states with a large amount of uh, urban centers, with urban centers with a lot of different votes, um, and those urban centers are going to be leaning Democratic. So um it's it's a lot easier to be a democrat in this game but whenever you're coming to a republican you have to shift into democratic policies by a tiny bit uh, so with um with uh like republicans it's a lot easier if you at least you know support things like minimum wage if you support things like social security if you support things um even universal preschool could be a good republican policy for you um so it's it's um it's a challenge especially as a republican in this game um and then i have another comment that said that uh, i'm getting power and revolution for christmas any tips um there it, it's very complicated uh so don't do not okay the, the, i'm gonna say this don't raise taxes by a lot don't cut your your health and social security spending don't cut your education spending and don't raise taxes by more than a quarter of a percent because if you're raising your taxes you know like if you're raising the income tax from like 25 percent of the or 24 percent of the uh, middle class to 30 percent that's not going to be that fun. Like it, you're 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 going to get thrown out of office pretty damn quickly. With the p actions that you take in Power and Revolution. All right, let's um attend some of these rallies. We're gonna do that. Hundred thousand people are going to be voting for me in this next coming election. Now let's go ahead and do a couple of weeks of just straight up fundraising. 151 million dollars uh, military wow 118 123 129 and then this let's go ahead and express a commitment to party values and then attend these guys right here do you like to participate in this questionnaire and then let's do one last tv ad well, i mean we don't even need to do the tv ad so let's uh just do these potter county uh, galveston county uh should be good so let's go to the next day and we'll do the election and it looks like we won in places like angelina county um we did not win bear county The audio is cutting out. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, did not win Bear County. Maybe it's because my microphone is too too uh, close to me. We did not win Dallas County, unfortunately. We did not win El pa Obviously, we're not going to win El Paso County. Uh, but we did win Collin and Denton County. <clears throat> We're not winning in a lot of the uh, border 
border counties uh, of Texas, so that is unfortunate. Is this after you lost the presidency? Yes, this is a about looks like four years of after I lost the presidency of the United States. Um, I was a former president, and so then after that didn't work, uh, then the next option is obviously just to return back to the Senate and then become the Senate Majority Leader. Uh, once we win this election, we are going to become the Senate Majority Leader because we will have the most political clout uh, as, for one, a former senator, and then two, a former president. We have over a million political points, so um, Tarrant will be the big one and leaves Republican IRL. Um, PG, remember, people still hate you. I, yeah, I know, everyone hates me. 92% of the vote counted. We did not win Travis County. We won Harris County. Look at that, we won Harris. All right, and the election comes to a close. Uh, Sean Irwin becomes the next senator of the U of the uh, great state of Texas. 6.7 million votes uh, in the favor of Sean Irwin. 4.7 million votes in the favor of his adversary Bruno Bagunza. Uh, Baganza, Baganza. Uh, 58.5 percent of the vote uh, for Sean Irwin and 41.5 percent of the vote uh, in the favor of Mr. Bruno. Um, your audio is still cutting out. Oh my God! Why is there so many issues with my with my stuff. Erwin, 4.7 million votes in the favor of his adversary, Bruno Bagunza. Uh, can't you hear it? 59.41 in Texas, nice, yeah. Um, can you show us your history as Sean Irwin on the profile? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and watch this presidential election real quick. And... And the Democrat Montgomery Hubbard will be re-elected a second time for the presidency of the United States. Uh, a flip in the state of Indiana. We do see that Indiana flipped back to the Republican Party, but Arizona stays with the Republican Party as well as the states of uh, North Carolina, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, uh, Iowa, and Nevada, seems like, and as well as Florida. Uh, so Montgomery Hubbard wins in another landslide victory, six, uh, 363 electoral votes uh, for Montgomery Hubbard and 175 for the Republican nominee uh, Ivan Cantu. Uh, you're about to pull a Grover Cleveland, lol. Yeah, hell yeah, I'll be Grover Cleveland. Be the, uh, what, the 47th president and then the 49th president. <laughs> Uh, if I run for uh, run for president again, but uh, let's uh, let's go over to profile and then let's look at my elections. All right, so uh, for those who are just now joining and I've never seen the Sean Irwin series, uh, essentially the history of Sean Irwin uh, is, goes as follows: We are out of the uh, county of Wichita in the state of Texas. This is home to the city of Wichita Falls, uh, which ironically is my hometown. Um, I've gotten a couple of people who have commented and said, "I can't believe you're playing out of Wichita County. You don't see a lot of, you don't see a lot of people doing that." So it's a uh, uh, great to see um, a lot of other people that are from Wichita Falls. Um, when are we getting beards in this game? Yes, I want beards, please. Yes, I, I actually agree with that. Uh, but yeah, let's go over to uh, Sean Irwin's electoral history, and he. <clears throat> uh, we started him off as the mayor of uh, the city of Wichita Falls, so he, uh, this was my first election in 2015, and we won this election. Uh, we won 74% to 25%. Uh, and then we went on to become a senator of the state of Texas. We won by a similar margin, except we did get more votes uh, in the primary, I believe. And then, so once we went to the general election, we won by a similar margin. I actually won by a uh, even better margin uh, in this time around. So this was the map in the uh, first time that I got elected. We even won Harris County in my first time whenever I got elected. Uh, and then, so I believe I, yep, I went for a re-election bid and I lost uh, this one by a uh, a smaller margin, what looks like 54.9 to 45.1, we even lost uh, in places like Harris County, and I believe this is, um, I can't really remember which county this is, but it's its on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Uh, and then we went on to the presidency of the United States, which this was the um, 
Uh, this was the primary. Uh, what year did we run? This was in the 2028 uh, Republican primary. So this was where we won. We did not win in Iowa and New Hampshire, but we won in Nevada, lost in South Carolina, uh, but then won in on Super Tuesday, basically carried us to the presidency. Uh, we did win Texas 42 to 24. Uh, and then we did win Florida. We won 100% of the vote in the state of Florida, uh, as well as 59% in Illinois, 60% in Missouri, and then 59% uh, in the state of Ohio. Um, David, thank you so much for becoming a member. If you guys want to become a member, a uh, part of this channel, I will be doing uh, private live streams whenever I do get the, uh, enough uh, members, so do not... Uh, hesitate to become a member if that interests you. Uh, then we ran against uh, the Democrat, against uh, Mateus Cabrera, uh, and then that was uh, me as Sean Irwin, and then we won with 280 electoral votes, smaller than the margin that we won than than we saw in uh, the 2020 election. Uh, so this was uh, the map on the end of 2028 election, and we won. In states like uh, Colorado, with, uh, we won in states like Colorado and North Carolina and Florida, as well as the state of Ohio. But whenever it came to Wisconsin, Wisconsin was definitely not really the bellwether, uh, but Wisconsin was the tipping point state. If we did not win, uh, well, actually, if we won the state of uh, Wisconsin, I think we would we would basically get uh, right across the line for the presidency. Uh, with 270 electoral votes because uh, Wisconsin has 10 electoral votes because we got 280 so if we did lose Wisconsin then we would we would have still won uh, but then uh, I guess uh, Wisconsin and I guess Colorado yeah Colorado would definitely be uh, the tipping point state uh, because uh, I, I mean I guess it's a combination of the two uh, and then we went on to the second round whenever we went ran for uh, whenever we ran for re-election, and that's whenever Montgomery Hubbard showed up on on the scene, and he won uh, his uh, primary with uh, 1,495 delegates. I don't know what the uh, what it was, what the limit was uh, for him, but whenever it came down to the election, we were doing polling, we were doing a lot of different stuff, a lot of different actions, and we had a, had a lot of different offices that were open. Uh, across the country, but unfortunately that did not help us uh, on election day. As you can see, we lost uh, our re-election bid in a landslide because of the uh, metrics that were um, up and about. I believe it was because the economy was doing a little bit worse. Um, uh, I believe poverty may have gotten a little bit worse under my administration. Uh, but yeah, in our in my re-election bid, uh, we lost the state of Indiana. It looked more like a an Obama map, except uh, the difference was is that Alaska uh, did not vote uh, for the Democrat, but then uh, Arizona also did not vote for the Democrat. So we uh, saw uh, we see a map similar to what it was like uh, in two thousand and eight, um, and then our. Most recent election you guys just saw in this live stream, so I don't need to uh, talk about that. But that is the sh that is the history of uh, Sean Irwin uh, for those who were interested in that. Uh, if you lose Indiana, you're not going to win, and you should just give up. Yeah, as soon as I saw Indiana go blue, I was like, I'm done. Yep, it's over. <laughs> All right, uh, let's. Go here and tell him thank you that you were that you were a worthy opponent. Just be a good sport for my man. Uh, and then we are going to the next uh, turn. And then welcome to your first term as U.S. Senator. Yeah, first quote unquote, uh, first term. This is my third term as a U.S. Senator. Let's go over here and a nomination process for the party leader. Let's go ahead and run it against Victor Linden. Uh, sounds familiar for another uh, president, or not president, but uh, Senate Majority Leader. Uh, this is going to be the party leadership position. Let's say yes to this, and then vote for party leader. And Sean Irwin, wow, look at that! We're tied! 
we are tied for the party leadership position. My vote is going to be the tiebreaker. Uh, so let's go ahead and vote for myself and we become the Senate minority leader. We did not take uh, control of the Senate uh, in the previous election. So unfortunately, we are not the majority leader, but we are the minority leader. But we are still uh, the party leader of the Republican Party. Uh, years of effort and dedication have earned you the respect of your fe fellow uh, party members. They have chosen you to serve as their leader in the Senate. They will now look to you for guidance on all legislative decisions. This uh, position will allow you to influence every representative in your in your party so long as you have a good relationship with them. So look at that. Look at that vote margin right there. 24 votes for Victor Linden and 25 votes for former uh, President uh, Sean Irwin. So let's go ahead and say yes to uh, say okay to that. Uh, since you have already been selected as Senate Minority Leader, you will not be eligible for, eligible for this position. Vote for Caucus Chair. And let's go ahead and give Hilda Brock our vote. Message from the President. I am excited to get started. I am excited to get started, and I am excited to get started. Let's go ahead and select my committees, and let's see. Uh, we have the Finance Committee, the Senate Finance Committee. These are Super A committees. Uh, the Armed Services Committee is ironically not uh, available in this game. Uh, we have the Appropriations Committee, and then we have the Finance Committee. Uh, so if you guys have any ideas on, what, on who I should be the ranking member of, uh, definitely hit that down. Um, if I go for the Appropriations Committee, uh, the Appropriations Committee is one of the most important committees that oversees the appropriation process, which allocates the funding needed to run all federal government agencies and programs. Without the appropriations process, the federal government would shut down, which ironically, we are looking at a federal government shutdown in the coming uh, days, actually, um, I, in real life. If anyone's paying attention to what's going on in the... Um, if anyone's paying attention to what's going on, uh, that is a... Uh, one of the um, things that uh, that is going on. Sorry, I totally uh, lost my train of thought there. Uh, finance and then appropriations. So this has jurisdiction over programs such as Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, as well as any other program funded by a payroll tax. So that's going to be our responsibility if we are the ranking member of the Finance Committee. But if we do the Appropriations Committee, then we can literally make our own budgets um, as we see fit. I guess I can just go f uh, one or two terms as the appropriations. A lot of people are actually suggesting the uh, appropriations committee, so I guess I'll do that and then I'll throw myself on. What else? Uh, I guess I'll just throw myself. I always put myself on the judiciary committee, so uh, I guess I will just uh, hang around the judiciary committee uh, for right now. Uh, C committees, we have Ethics and Native American Affairs. I cannot wait for the Native American Affairs Committee to become available. I will definitely want to uh, hang around the Native American Affairs Committee um, whenever I am playing this ga game, whenever that becomes available. I want some sort of interaction between the federal government and Indian tribes in the United States. That would be awesome, uh, in my opinion. Uh, subcommittees... Uh, I guess I'm not. And then for my subcommittee for the judiciary, uh, we can do drug courts, immigrants, and uh, let's do crime and terrorism. So then, what is a Super A committee? A Super A committee is essentially the uh, committee that is operated by some of the uh, most well-known people in the Senate. Um, the people that are in Super A committees are some of the most well-known people uh, within that uh, sort of branch. So if we go over to politicians, uh, go over to the Senate, and then go over to committees, we will see that uh, some of the uh, best known, I mean, the Appropriations Committee uh, is operated by uh, Randolph Frederick. And if we go over to here... I believe Randolph should be one of the highest ranking members uh, of the Democratic Party. If we go over here to rankings, all time current. So I'm the highest ranking person in the Senate overall. The, uh, the one closest to me is Victor Linden. No wonder he was so close to, to overtaking me. Anna Sofia Vasquez. Um, I, 
uh, Mateus Cabrera. Eh, I guess not. All right. Vote on the budget resolution. This is Ian Duncan. And let's say oppose. Most Republicans oppose that. Uh, budget resolution as party leader, you influenced the vote of 48 par politicians and changed the vote of zero politicians, unfortunately. Uh, those stupid moderates love you? Yeah. Is it possible to switch parties? Yes, it is. Budget conference report? Who the hell is this? Jeff Britton. Interesting. All right, uh, let's say oppose, and it's gonna fail the same way. So it looks like uh, Democrats do have control over a lot of what's going on right now. We just have to wait until at least maybe 2038. I think 2038 we'll have another election, and maybe we can flip a couple of different seats. Uh, vote on free community college. Um, do you want to support or oppose this legislation? Let's go ahead and support. And 93 Republicans vote in favor of it, and 7 Republicans vote against it. Or 7 Democrats, actually. The only people that's... So no Republican voted against the legislation, but uh, 7 Democrats opposed it. So that's ironic that uh, all Republicans vote unanimously just because I vote for it, and then 7 Democrats break away and then don't want to support it. Uh, we have... Uh, this, let's go ahead and support this amendment, and that fails. And uh, eligibility rate from 26 to 29, let's say no to an amendment, and let's vote on both of these. Amendment vote, and let's go ahead and support. Sometimes maybe we will get one or two Democrats that will cross the aisle for us. Uh, let's say oppose this legislation. And this is for a wick. So then for this, we can oppose. Supplement on uh, nutrition. Increases eligibility from 125 to 137. Let's say oppose. And a couple of Democrats actually crossed the aisle to help us out. So nine Democrats. Uh, that is the fun part about having these slim, slim, razor-thin majorities in these houses. Uh, is because you, you can only afford maybe like a small batch of... Maybe one or two senators to vote against you, but if they if they do if they vote if they uh, vote um, anywhere that you don't want them to, then it's really gonna hurt your chances. Oh man, sixty one percent. Let's see. Uh, wow, we are. So this was my approval rating during my presidency, and then right after I stopped be being president, I. I went down a little bit, and now I've just kind of been hanging around about 61% among everything. This is national, state at large, uh, congressional, all, all the way up from school board all the way up to national. How long will this live stream be? I've been recording for about, about 40 minutes. Um, I think I can do about an hour and a half, maybe two hours tops. Um, maybe I could just go for another hour. It really depends on what happens in this live stream. Committee amendment hearing. Do you want to add an amendment? Yeah, see, that's why I don't touch those things. Oh, no wonder I didn't have to make a budget. It's because we're not the... Uh, we're not the... What do you call it? I'm the ranking member, but I'm not the, uh, the the majority leader, so because of that, I'm not going to be able to write any budgets. I'm only going to be able to 
a vote on these things. So we have to take control of the Senate in order for me uh, to be able to write my own budgets. Vote on budget resolution and create a free community college program. Let's say oppose. Even though I did vote for community college. Let's go ahead and support it, I guess. 100 uh, send that over to the House or the uh, the President. I thought we already voted on a uh, free community college. Now let's go ahead and oppose it. Uh, six Democrats have voted against that piece of legislation. They do not have the votes for it whenever I voted for it the first time, so uh, we will not uh, vote on that. Uh, decreases millet decreases from 67 to 66. We're going to say no to that. Both chambers of Congress have passed the bill in identical form, and then it will now be sent over to the president. Uh, so that sucks. Damn. All right. So we are going to try to win this upcoming election. Just specifically concentrate on what's going on here. Time to take back the damn Senate. Yep. Right before I hit the next button, I'm going to go grab myself a water real quick and I'll be right back. All right, and I have returned, so let's go ahead and go to the next turn, see what this... Oh, that's funny, literally week 45 and we have a pathway to citizenship. Let's see if this passes. Establishes the program allowing 7.3 million immigrants to become citizens. Let's go ahead and oppose that piece of legislation that fails. Wow, look at that, that fails to pass the committee. What committee is this a part of? Um... Do, 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 do. We had a couple of Democrats that we had one Democrat that voted against it, and he was the a deciding factor that one Democrat on the committee did not want to uh, uh, vote in favor of that piece of legislation. That was Kobe Braun. Uh, thank you so much, Kobe, for uh, uh, voting against that piece of legislation. Uh, does not even survive committee, so that uh, has no chance of becoming a law as of right now. Um. When is Angola Great Democracy Live or video coming? Um, I uh, I think I'm gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be the next uh, Power and Revolution live stream that I can do. What is today? Maybe I could shoot for a live stream tomorrow for it. Um, this is a really busy week for me, um, but I think 
maybe I could do it like after I think I could because I could uh, record the United States tomorrow um, or today uh, depends on what happens and then I guess an Angola live stream I could shoot to do that um, on maybe sun not i could do it tomorrow or i could shoot for monday maybe i could actually do it because uh, i do have to leave uh for christmas because i am going to i think i'm going to be going out of town for christmas um so i think i could shoot to get one more angola live stream uh, out before uh, i go oh uh, it should be on wednesday and then i uh, will be off i'll be out wednesday through um i think Saturday, maybe sa Saturday, maybe Sunday. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but anyway, it is week forty-five. Let's go over to elections, and let's see. Let's see what happens. And Republicans flip in North Carolina, in uh, West Virginia, in New Hampshire, in Maine, in uh, Iowa, in Alaska, in Colorado. So looks like that we took back one uh maybe one two three seats that originally that we had uh, in the house of representatives the republicans take 40 seats in the house of representatives uh, so it does look like yeah maybe it looks like that's sh we should yeah i think we did take uh, control of the senate So let's go to the next nomination process for party leader. Victor Linden launches another bid for the Senate party leader. Let's go ahead and throw my hat into the ring uh, for party leader. And I should be able to... And we're tied again! Look at that! Victor! What's going to happen whenever I vote for myself? Look at this. Look at this. I don't think I'm going to be able to become the party leader. I think Victor Linden is going to become party leader. Um, let's vote. Congratulations on becoming the Senate Majority Leader. Yes, 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 yes. We become Senate Majority Leader even though it was tied. Uh, that was kind of funny. That was, I didn't expect. We need to make sure that this guy is taken care of if he's going to just be the thorn in our ass, like, for the, uh, for the, uh, party leader, party leadership, uh, every year. Yeah, look at that. Tied. Tied. Sean Irwin becomes the Senate Majority Leader. So I think it, oh, I think it, it is also based on the political points. So because I have so many political points, uh, and I have more political experience than Victor Linden, then I believe that even whenever it is tied, uh, it is still going off of the political points that we have. So, uh, caucus chair and vote for caucus chair. And then let's go ahead and put Mrs. Brock into that position again. Uh, and then two messages and then one from the president. I'm excited to get started. And then let's go ahead and, and select our committees. I'm go ahead and throw myself on the committee chair for the appropriations committee. And then we'll put myself back on. Let's look the judiciary committee. The chair and ranking member of committee automatically serve on all subcommittees. So, oh, no wonder. So, uh, so it's defense, agriculture, blah, 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 blah. And then let's put myself back on crime and terrorism. Uh, now go to the house and become speaker of the house. Oh yeah, totally. Um, let's go over here. Let's go to history and let's look at the history. A president of small business company from 2004 to 2009. 2009 financial crisis and its business fails in 2009. Uh, candidate for district attorney in 2010 and then district attorney from 2011 to 2015. And then I kind of messed up here, but I became I uh, got him to become mayor. Uh, but that put him from 2012 to 2019. Uh, then looks like we didn't do anything. Well, no. Yeah, I, I immediately went from mayor of Wichita Falls to uh, U.S. Senator right after. So, no, I think it's right over here. And then there's two terms, and then there's another term for senator right here. Right after I'm president, 2033 to... Tw so, 2033 is whenever my term ended. And then, so I didn't have a job from 2033 to 2037... 
Uh, and then now I am serving here until 2043. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go to here, vote on budget resolution, and let's support 58 to 42. Awesome. We, we have a overwhelming majority in the House of Repre or in the Senate now, so uh, don't have to worry about the slim majority that uh, the Democrats had. The, the Republicans seem to have a very good, comfortable majority. 56 seats in the House or in the Senate. Uh, right now and then if we go over to the house of representatives we have 58 percent of the house of representatives 252 seats uh, right now and it was a flip in control so republicans took control of the house of representatives uh, in this next in this uh, previous election and then uh, you'll see that the republicans have been having pretty good control over these seats uh, in the Senate, and the Senate seems to be pretty in favor of Republicans. So now that we've captured such a large majority, I don't think that the Democrats are going to be able to take uh, the Senate again for at least a little bit, unless there is another wave election here. Um, I believe right here, actually, it looks like even... No, 2130... 32 so yeah this was my election right here this was sean Irwin's election exactly right here and you'll see that's exactly when the uh the, the senate uh flipped in control and then, then it went down to a tie for about two terms or about one term and then it on the next election uh, it looks like we captured or democrats captured a couple more seats which ended up giving them control that very slim razor thin majority that they had and then now right now as i become senate majority leader uh republicans capture a very comfortable majority in the united states senate so great on the republicans for uh getting the control of the senate back toward in their direction creative freedom community college program in republican a favor so let's go ahead and vote in favor of that even though it allows for a very liberal program um see no republicans voted against that piece of legislation legislation submitted to committee eliminates medicaid expansion program meaning less people are eligible to receive health care services uh this is introduced by Kaisley burl and she is a republican from uh, the great state of arkansas so do we uh, allow this or do we uh, allow it to have a hearing um just th just to keep the republicans happy i'll go ahead and allow it to have a hearing and then public housing this uh, decreases eligibility from 12 percent to 10 percent i'll go ahead and allow that too um we go even though it is a reduction in the um in the uh, uh eligibility don't eliminate medicaid uh, yeah um, as a Republican, um, not my own personal views, but as a Republican in a game, sometimes I have to make those kinds of decisions in order to keep the party happy, even if I don't necessarily agree with it. Sounds exactly like politics. Um, kind of sucks. Uh, public housing legislation submitted to committee increases Medicare eligibility age from uh, 66 to 67. I'm definitely going to allow that to happen. Uh, this is education grants for low income committees. I'm going to go ahead and refuse that. Uh, eligibility rate from 151 to 143. That is grants, scholarships. I'm going to say no to that too. And rural rent assistance is 100% that as well. Um, public housing and Medicaid. So let's say no to an amendment. And then I'm going to say oppose. And Republicans v vote against that uh, entirely, even though most Republicans, I think I do suffer a penalty uh, because of that, because uh, Republicans don't necessarily like it. They will do what the party leader tells them to do, but you can only do that so many times before they end up not liking you. And then honestly, you'll probably get ousted by the next election. Uh, so we will fail uh or the whoever introduced this who uh, voted in favor of it kobe kirk from massachusetts voted in favor of the medicaid elimination and that is a democrat from the state of massachusetts uh the state or the commonwealth of massachusetts uh public housing this goes from 10 from 12 to 10 
and do you support or oppose this amendment? Let's go ahead and vote in favor of that amendment, and then I will vote in favor of the piece of legislation itself to keep the Republicans happy. Amendment hearing on Medicare. 66 to 67. Let's say no, but then support the legislation. We even get a couple of Democrats to come over and support us. That was a Ford Schlongauer uh, from Delaware. Kobe Kirk from Massachusetts. Um, Justin Haynes from Michigan. Gabrielle Navarrete from uh, from New Mexico. Uh, Chip McDougals, McDougals from uh, Oregon. And Todd Bochard from Pennsylvania. All right, and then Medicare. Go, 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 go. And then let's go ahead and go over to whenever we can create the federal budget. Legislation submitted to committee. Let's see what it is. Increases minimum wage from $10 to $12. Let's go ahead and say yes to that. Uh, does it fail the committee? Legislation submitted to committee. Establishes a universal background check. Let's say no to that. Establishes the program. This is requires that all power companies install and utilize carbon capture and storage technology to decrease the amount of pollution that they produce. Hmm. Requires. That's a big word. That is a big word. Kobe should just switch to Republicans. Yeah, I know. I wish there was a lot of different, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, party switchers. But it would kind of be funny between that. Sorry, Sh Senator Irwin, your stupid vote wasn't enough. <laughs> um, let's see. The broader point. Welcome to the live stream. I haven't seen you in a while. Definitely welcome, welcome, welcome. Jason Miner, welcome to the live stream. Ron Tomato, thank you so much for interacting in the live stream. Uh, Nick, I have seen you around here, so definitely a shout out, to, a big shout out to you. I'll go ahead and say no to this piece of legislation on my desk. Um, and then we will go to the next year. Senate class three. Is that my seat? No, it's not my seat. Uh, do, 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 eliminate uh, Medicaid expansion. I'll go ahead and vote for it because I highly doubt that's going to even pass. Uh, there might be an amendment to that by then. Uh, vote on budget conference report. Eliminate Medicaid expansion. Legislation submitted to committee. This is the free and reduced cost lunches. So it decreases lunch eligibility from 275 to 272. Reduces reduced cost lunch from 311 to 308. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I'll say yes to this one too. Eligibility rates will say no. Anything that goes is like more than 10% in a change, you know, from whenever it comes to eligibility ratings and all that. Um, I do think, um, I think it helps out. I don't know. Make them Republican senators happy to keep your title. Yeah. <laughs> Um, increases eligibility rate from 6667. Let's go ahead and say yes to that. Eliminates that Medicaid expansion. I will say yes to that. And then eligibility rate from uh, 100 to 89. This is for education grants. Why does this guy keep trying to get rid of like Medicaid or not Medicaid, but uh, uh, educational grants? We go ahead and say no to you. Uh, public housing 12% to 10%. Uh, I'm going to say no. We already passed something like that, I believe. Um, so we got four things on the floor today. We have veteran, veteran education grants. So I think that's going to be uh, the primary one. Do you, he wants to reduce them. Really? Really? Why are you, my guy, why are you wanting to hurt veterans? Do you want to create an amendment? Let's say no. And I'm going to vote. I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and say support. And then let's oppose the legislation itself yeah even the guy that introduced it doesn't even vote for it so buzz off buzz off uh, let's say no to an amendment for that and then 
let's say support support and then supports wait okay yeah support uh, this bill will not now be sent to the president as both houses have passed identical forms of the bill uh, amendment hearing on Medicaid eliminates, let's say no to an amendment, and let's, uh, let's oppose. Let's oppose this piece of legislation right on my desk and not worry about it. I hope whoever runs against PG in the election wins. Wow, okay. A protest against Senator Irwin resulted in, yikes. Um... It uh, seems like politicians are personal legislation in this game is extreme on both sides usually. Yeah, see, that's another thing, is that it seems to just be on an extreme level. Um, I really wish that we would have more opportunities and more uh, laws that we were able to pass. So let's go to week 35. And let's just do straight rallies. Uh, increases minimum wage from $10 to $12 to say yes. Kevin Crowley? That sounds familiar. State Senator Kevin Crowley. All rallies. 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 42. 43. 44. And 45. Let's go ahead and watch the presidential election, see who is on the ballot this year. And Republicans seem to go are going to win this election. Republicans have won in states like North Carolina and Ohio, as well as Florida. So it looks like there is going to be a Republican victory right here. Yep, we will see a Republican victory. Republicans win in the states of Colorado and Michigan and Wisconsin, as well as the state of Maine, Arizona, and Nevada. Uh, that carries them 302 electoral votes after they win the great state of Alaska. 302 electoral votes uh, to uh, 236. Uh, round the same number that we saw in this previous election that we had in real life, uh, which was 306 electoral votes uh, to, to 232. Uh, so we are only about, uh, looks like four votes off on both sides. We only had, uh, we had, if we had a minus. Uh, four electoral votes for the Democrat and four and plus four electoral votes for the Republican. We would exactly we would have exactly uh, the same um, uh, amount of electoral votes. So it looks like the Republican in this case uh, looks like Democrats won in the state of Pennsylvania. So they made up those electoral votes by winning in the state of Colorado uh, as well as the state of Nevada. So um, great strategy for the Republican Party. Uh, in this election, but you see that Republicans are never usually able to win more uh, than the states that you see right here. They're even able to win Pennsylvania sometimes, um, even Connecticut, but anything above that, they're not usually able to do that. Hopefully this president isn't like PG. Yeah, exactly. Do, 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 do. Nomination process for party leader. Let's see and Victor Linden throws his hat in the ring again Let's see if I can win this party leadership right here uh, And we and it ties again. Look at that. Look at that. What is this guy? Who is he? He is a the esteem. It's Bob Dole. It's Bob freaking Dole. Oh my god Determined and depressed my boy. This is my boy my great great a uh, former former senator of the great state of Kansas. Uh, this is Bob Dole. I, I cannot believe it. It's 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 in the skin. It's in the skin. But let's go ahead and vote for ourselves. Become become the Senate Majority Leader again. Uh, and so it looks like we won't have to do another leadership uh, position in the next two years. Um. So Sean Irwin becomes the Senate Majority Leader. Let's go ahead and select our committees, and we can. Foreign relations. Okay, let's let's be the committee chair on the finance committee, and then just be on the appropriations committee. Uh, you cannot be serve on more than one super A committee. So okay, I'll just put myself back on the judiciary. 
and crime and terrorism. Nomination process for party chair and uh, Kaisley Burrell. So we do not have the next uh, caucus chair. So it looks like Bernard Mullins will become the next caucus chair uh, for our party. Budget resolution and let's go ahead and supports. All right, and let's go over to the election. See what happened in this pre in this previous election. Uh, neither party gained seats, so it looks like Republicans won in the state of Connecticut, but then, or Democrats won in the state of Connecticut, but then also uh, Republicans also made up that loss in the state of Nevada. So Nevada has a Republican uh, right now. I wonder if it's that one guy that I've played as before. No, it is Benjamin Pick. Wait, who the hell? Benjamin Pickles. Benjamin, my boy, ben my boy, Benjamin. I think he's a protege of mine, though. Let's go over to protege. Kevin Crowley, I knew that sounded familiar for some reason. Uh, Benjamin Pickles, who is the esteemed senator from the state of Texas, seems to be... Let's look. History. Um, He's the governor. Oh! Uh, Benjamin Pickles is now the next senator um of texas so he's serving alongside myself let's look at this the deficit has gotten a little bit worse but it did recover after i left office so that's good that is good 165 billion dollar deficit right now looks like we fixed things a little bit but not entirely health Let's go to metrics. Let's go to overview. Both chambers of Congress have passed different versions of the same bill. The bill will now go to a conference committee, which will make the versions identical and send the resulting bill back to both chambers for a final vote. Uh, SNAP, eliminate SNAP. Let's go ahead and oppose that for right now. Medicare, and goes up to 69. All right, both chambers of Congress. Uh, the bill has passed both chambers of Congress, and it goes up to 69. Awesome that we sent that over to the President of the United States, but I don't know if he's going to pass it or not. Assign HR1 Medicare 66 to 69, so uh, Melvin Kerner has signed that into law, so that's awesome. President signs HR1 into law. HR4 rejected by the Senate, which is the SNAP, which was uh, 8 to 92. Um, so it looks like the Republican uh, in the House, but then also in the Senate, are completely different thinkers. That would be funny to see in real life. Um, do you support or oppose this amendment? Let's say no, and then vote for it in its entirety. Let's say I support this amendment, and then support this as well. Based the Medicare age. Oh yeah, whatever. No vote against SNAP is good, yes. Um, less people have access to Medicare, great. Hell yeah, no more Medicare. Let's go ahead and just eliminate Medicare, guys. 
All right, guys, if you guys want to uh, support this channel, definitely do leave a super chat. Super chatting do does help out this channel in uh, many different ways. Uh, so if you guys are interested in helping this channel out, definitely do leave a super chat uh, for the Sean Irwin campaign. Um, and then uh, let's go ahead and go on. Establishes the program. This is carbon capture by Republican. Let's go ahead and say yeah. I guess. I guess I said. Uh, PG, look at your approval rating. It is going down. My approval rating is going down, unfortunately. Uh, mostly because I'm probably not hitting anything on the mark for uh, for what my base wants. So let's do Universal Preschool seems to be uh, active. Uh, free community college. 60. Let's go ahead and introduce a bill. I haven't introduced any bills during my entire tenure, so I guess I'll do that. Um, let's say yes. The president opposes this. Let's say supports, and it passes the Senate. And it passes the committee in the House, 35 to 3. Passes the House of Representatives. <laughs> Look at this. It passes the House of Representatives 404 to 31. President Melvin Kerner has vetoed my bill, but a congressional majority has overruled this veto. The bill will now become a law. So uh, we did introduce a veto proof uh, piece of legislation right before the end of the year. So that is awesome to see. Uh, the governor of Texas will not be seeking re-election. If I run in this election, I have a good chance of winning. But we are up for re-election uh, this year, so we're going to have to uh, run in the re-election for Senate. Let's go ahead and say that we want to run again. Let's say North Houston wants to be our, uh, our boy for this. And then let's go ahead and promise a higher per capita income, lower income taxes, and let's say a lower poverty rating. $227 million in the bank for this uh, campaign. And then let's go ahead and open about 100 field offices. Yeah, approval rating is still going down. Well, it's only going down by one or two points, so we will... Uh, uh, we won't worry about it for right now, at least for right now. If you guys have any suggestions, I mean, I mean that's the other thing that I kind of haven't mastered in this game for uh, for right now. I don't know how to. Uh, well, I mean, I know how to. Wow, yeah, we definitely. This is starting to trend. This is starting to become a trend, so we need to uh, uh, possibly take care of this uh, approval rating. Try to get 60% of the vote. All right, nice. Eliminate Medicaid expansion, eliminate free college, and then eliminate SNAP. I guess I guess we'll see see if that hap if that what? Negative three The heck happened there? Negative three, that's a bug. That is a good bug right there. Wow. Fifty-nine to to forty-one. Look at that. Democrats had wait, Democrats had uh had forty-four people vote in favor. It's not even 44. This is that is a bug. That is a, that is a bug. Legislation submitted uh, eliminates Medicaid expansion, meaning less people are eligible to receive healthcare services. Let's say no to that. Let's say yes to this and yes to this and say no. Um, no. Someone already introduced that. Is you who angered the base random, my guy? Forty-four minus three equals forty-one PG. Yeah, I know, but that is still a little bug. I don't understand what the heck what that was supposed to be. Eliminates uh, supplemental. So we're gonna say no. Uh, say no and no. It's 
So we are being primaried right now, so let's go ahead and uh, do a voter intention poll. And we, <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we, we seem to be losing this a little bit. So let's do a higher minimum wage. We're gonna try to just barely win this re-election. Poverty, Social Security, $11 million there. 17, and we're gonna do more economic growth. And then taxes, I think we could hit the income. Well, that helped, that did not help at all. Let's go over here, marketing and economic growth. It's gonna help out a little bit, but maybe, maybe, maybe. Hopefully, the polls are wrong. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, we're 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 we're, tr we're trending a little backward here. I don't, I don't I don't think I don't think my guy. Oh man. See see the elections in this game are really really weird. Let's see if we win. Significantly less votes than the previous election, honestly. Yeah, and we don't win. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Um. Maybe is this the end of Sean Irwin? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, is this? Um. <laughs> wow. I mean, maybe, maybe, it, maybe all the stuff that I was doing, maybe, maybe all of that did anger the base a little bit. And see, that's what I'm unable to find is that I'm not able to find what the balance is uh, between. I don't even know who the hell this guy is. But I'm not able to find the balance between um, how to know when your campaign is starting to backslide a little bit. And and that's one of the things, unfortunately, that I'm not able to really pinpoint in this game. So let's go ahead and just go to the election and then let's see what happens. We weren't the best Senate Majority Leader, but at least we were the Senate Majority Leader for at least two terms. Um, and, and I mean, it was, it was the entire... How, do, how, DF, how TF do you lose a Senate primary? Oh, whenever you start playing this game, I bet, I bet, uh, I bet you'll f be able to figure that out. All right, let's go ahead and hit yes on that. CPG, you killed your own character's political future. <laughs> oh man, is helping people. Um, I told you to keep the Republicans happy for him, but I was keeping the Republicans happy. What are you talking about? All right, let's go. Submit. Establishes the mess. Ooh, no, definitely not. Maybe it was because I wasn't introducing that many laws. Maybe that was another reason why. All right, let's see what the uh, Senate looks like after this. And I am now jobless. All right, we only lose one seat in the uh, in in the Senate. No Democrats won in the state of Texas, but if we look over here, Democrats did regain control. Look at that. We had a massive majority in the House of Representatives, and these uh, the Democrats take control of the House of Representatives, so that is uh, interesting. Damn. Uh, presidency is still Republican. And what can I do now? I can run for a local, local, local office. If you were keeping the Republicans happy, you wouldn't have lost LMAO. Oh, whatever. I don't even know. Protege. Let's go over here. Kevin Crowley. Challenge completed. See, another thing, yeah. I mean, I think, I think another reason why I may have lost is also because I didn't introduce any tax cuts. And also, maybe because I also didn't keep some of the promises that I had. Because all the promises that look like I, uh, I lost the flat tax uh, proposal. Before you on the stream, you should do your Nevada game. Uh, yeah, I, I think I could do that. Let's go over to Texas POTUS and then save that. And then let's go over to load. And then let's go over to Nevada. And this is Luke Clayton. What are we doing over here? We are a U.S. Senator from the great state of Nevada. State abortion laws. Ooh. 
Oh, this is for... This is for that. Let's go... I want to figure out what the situation is. Did we just win our own election just now? This was in 2016, so then our next be in 2022. And see, that's the other thing that I really don't like about this about this game is that it it literally the only thing that you have to worry about, the one thing that you have to worry about is literally when the next election is. That's the only challenge in this game. Um, there's no challenge whenever it comes to trying to get laws passed or something like that, unless you like want, you know, you're a Republican and then you're uh, in places like Nevada or something like that. You're not able to. Um, there's not really a challenge in this game, and that's really one of the disappointing things about this game. What's going on over here? Um, do you want to run for a party leadership position? Let's go ahead and say yes. And I highly doubt I'm going to get any votes, but let's go ahead and vote for myself. Uh, Darren Chance gets the most amount of votes, so he becomes Senate Majority Leader. That's great to see him. Uh, you should have... You, you should have... You should have... Uh, used a lot more money on ads. Yeah, I had like 200 million dollars, so I um, Inexcusable inexcusable um, Judiciary and health let's go ahead and put myself on those and then primary health and retirement and then crime and terrorism uh, caucus chair, and let's see if I can throw myself into the caucus chair, and I get six votes, including my own vote, but, uh, Gloria Gill becomes the next, uh, caucus chair leader, so congratulations to her. Your party has broken policy, don't follow, don't follow them, and be more moderate or liberal. See, that's the other thing, is, uh, um, it's, it's, it's really a matter on what, uh, what your policy positions are, and then as well, um, I mean, you could be a conservative guy from Texas, but I think it's your national popularity that kind of drags you down, and then the national popularity may be attached to your state popularity, and then, because, honestly, I mean, if we go over here, let's look. These things are usually always going to be the same, which I really highly doubt that that is realistic, because if we go over to national, I mean, your national favorability rating isn't going to be the same as your state at large. I mean, I believe that your state would probably disapprove or approve of you more or less than what really the national level uh, is. Um, and I mean, like, I mean, your school board district is gonna, it would probably have a very, very high rating. And I mean, I think this is all built, so it, so it all averages out. But, I mean, I, at the same time, I don't believe that, you know, your national rating would be the same as, you know, your congressional district rating. Or even your state senate, your house district, your city. I mean, even your city at large. Come on, your city at large is definitely not going to be the same thing as your state or even your national. So that definitely needs to be fixed. I once had a Senate where only Wyoming and Utah had GOP Senators. Jesus Christ, I want to see that map. Budget resolution. Let's go ahead and support. Legislation. Doot, 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 doot. Snap doesn't even exist anymore. Uh, let's go over to health. What about Medicare? Medicare, federal, do, 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 do. and see, and see, as a Republican, as a Republican in this game, you're there's no laws for you to pass. There's no laws that are able because because at the same time, like as a Republican, I should not be forced. I should not because I understand that there are a lot of Republicans that are out there that. I understand that there are a lot of Republicans out there that don't believe in that, but essentially what it looks like in this game is that the, the job of the Democrats is to improve or expand 
Social Security, WIC, SNAP, TANF, uh, education for the unemployed, the minimum wage, uh, permanent housing, homeless shelters, education for the homeless. But then the Republicans' job in this game is to minimize, eliminate, or even reduce Social Security, WIC, SNAP, TANF, education for unemployed, minimum wage, etc., uh, etc. Et like, as a Republican in this game, that should not be my job to reduce or even eliminate some of these programs that essentially sometimes Republicans are not going to even touch. I mean, it, it's not realistic for you to have a game uh, like, and, and this game is one of the best. I mean, I, I absolutely adore and cherish this game because this game is unlike any other game that I have ever played in correlation to what it has. But then at the same time, Again, as a Republican, I should not be forced to reduce or eliminate certain federal programs just because I'm playing as a Republican in this game. Um, I once wrote one re-election in Florida as a Republican to the U.S. Senate by 6,000 votes. I think the closest margin I've ever been able to win by was maybe like a couple dozen votes. It was actually really cool. Uh, you should do a game with the 1960 election to see what happens. Well, I mean, I would have to go in. See, that's what I really should do, is that I should go into this game. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this without... Uh, I... Okay, I didn't mean to s exit out of the game. <laughs> wow, okay, that was that. that's funny. That is funny. Give me a second right, right here real quick. Um, it is, it's not letting my thing load. It's not, see, my game political process seems to not be working on me. I am sorry for those who are just now joining or if we're just watching. Um, I'm trying to get this back up. Because, okay, political process isn't going to work for me anymore. Um, so I guess, I guess I'll guess i go ahead and call it right here, guys. Um, so if you guys like this, let me go ahead and try this real quick. Do, 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 and I'll go ahead and leave it right there. All right, guys, if you guys like this, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you guys want to see uh, any more uh, live streams like this, definitely hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my live streams whenever I uh, do them. I do apologize. I didn't really expect to uh, uh, to stop this today, but political process does not want to work for me anymore. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and leave it right here. Uh, next stream play, is, play in Nevada, please. Yes, I will. I will go ahead and play in Nevada since uh, looks like Sean Irwin's time in office is over. Doesn't look like the Senate even wants him back either. So I do apologize for, um, I mean, it wasn't a waste of time. Definitely wasn't a waste of time. Uh, but anyway, uh, guys, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Definitely go over and join the Discord if you have not, and I'll see you guys there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.